In other news at this hour, voting is currently underway in South Korea, where nearly 44 million eligible voters are casting their ballot today to elect their next president. The race for a new president has aggravated the domestic divisions in the country already marred by the rising cases of COVID-19. The election comes at a time as South Korea continues to witness a steady rise in COVID cases, along with tackling the pandemic. The winner of the election will have to face a string of other challenges like deepening gender inequality, the ever-present threat of North Korea and surging house prices in the country that have strained Asia's fourth largest economy. Initial surveys have suggested a neck-to-neck -neck fight between two key candidates ruling Democratic Party's Lee Jae-myung and Conservative People Power Party's Yoon Suk-kyu. The 57-year-old Lee Jae-myung is a politician and civil rights lawyer who served as the governor of South Korea's most populous po province, Gyeonggi. Between 2018 and 2021, he stepped down from his post recently to run in the presidential race. Conservative candidate Yoon Suk-yu, meanwhile, served as the prosecutor general of South Korea from 2019 to 2021. He played a key role in the conviction of former president Park Geun-hye while he was the chief prosecutor of South Korea. Latest opinion polls have suggested a slim majority for Yoon, who secured a surprise last-minute boost last week when a fellow conservative candidate dropped out from the election race. There are 14 candidates in total who are vying for the country's top spot. The winner will be replacing incumbent President Moon Jae-in, who is constitutionally barred from seeking a re-election. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.